Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you can So hey guys welcome back to my channel for tutorials so guys today I will teach you new style of wireframe text effect with using blender. So firstly guys click on here and delete all and now guys I am going to take a text this one yes and guys press tab so guys I choice number screen and color yeah so press tab and type your letter like guys I type S that's my simple so again press tab that's my edit mode okay so guys go to on here like this and horizontal to use center and guys i change font font i use anyone like this that's my real black font yeah and open yes and guys i increase size also so size this one size i like five all five yeah and again go to on here text so guys this time i change rotation rotation 90 yes and apply depth guys i apply depth so go to on geometry and extrude increase like this yeah and guys it's little bit so yeah i like 0 0.07 that's my extrude and next one guys i create smoothness from edges so apply bevel effect so depth i like 0 0.05 actually 0 0.05 yes so resolution i like 4 is good so guys geometry yes see guys that's my simple text right okay so next one guys select and go to on object so convert to mesh this one yes and i create more segments so guys go to on here modifier so use this time remesh this one yes and i go to smoothness this one and that guys i like nine yeah see guys that's my text it's so much high poly right see okay so guys go to on here remove uncheck yes and next one guys go to on here that's my geometry node this one and click yeah so right click on here joint area check yes see guys that's my simple workspace so guys next one i create new geometry node so click yeah that's my note and next one guys take delete geometry yeah and connect with mid one yes and next one guys i use com compare this one yeah and next one i use wave effect wave texture yeah okay so guys select this greater than so change i use less than this one yeah connect with this one yes and guys wave texture connect with a yeah see guys that's my simple note and guys this one b i like 0 0.6 yeah see guys that's my simple wave effect like slice right okay so guys now i change pattern so use ring this one and axis guys i use spherical yeah good so guys i change scale size scale size i like randomly like nine is good i increase this with size so distortion like 50 and guys detail i like zero yeah see guys that's my simple text i create shape like this so guys now i create smoothness so guys go to on here again modifier and apply first one decimate this one yes and go to on planner 
क्या एंड एंगल लिमिट आई लाइक फोर्टी यस गुड सो नेक्स्ट वन गाइस आई अप्लाई स्मूथ इफेक्ट दिस वन यस सो गाइस फोल्ड फोल्ड एंड आई गो टू ऑन स्मूथ गाइस फैक्टर आई लाइक वन एंड रिपीटेड आई लाइक ट्वेंटी दैट्स माय ट्वेंटी या यस सी गाइस दैट्स रियली कूल इफेक्ट राइट दैट्स माय वेविंग इफेक्ट्स ओके सो गाइस नेक्स्ट वन आई क्रिएट सर्कल इफेक्ट on this one text so guys hide hide and hide on render yes and now i take cube effect this one cube yes so guys go to on here select cube and geometry node and click on here new yeah so import a check yes and use actually go to on here cube so guys this one text drag and drop on here on geometry node Yeah, and connect with this one. So geometry connect with here group output. Yes, and see guys, that's my text, right? Okay, so guys, go to on here and scale size same five, five and five, and rotation ninety. Yeah, right. Okay, so guys, go to here increase size and go to add and use. Mesh, this one, mesh to curve. So take mesh to curve, connect with mid one. Yeah, and guys, next one, and type mesh. Guys, this time, curve to mesh check, and connect with this one. Yeah, mid one, right? Okay, see guys, that's my wire. It's really good. That's my wire effect. And now, guys, I take circle. circle guys that's my curve circle and connect with this one yes and guys radius i like 0.025 yeah and more like 0.0025 yes and resolution guys 32 is good for more smoothness yeah okay see guys that's my final wireframe effect It's really cool, right? Okay, so guys, my wireframe effect is finished now. I apply beautiful gradient color effect. So guys, go to on here, increase size, and use that's my set material. This one and connect with mid one like this, yeah. And guys, go to on here. That's my material. Guys, select your material here. Yeah. Okay, so guys, that's it. My geometry node is working is finished now. I go to on shading. So guys, select this material, and I have material this one. That's my material, like one, this one. So base color, guys, I change like this. Yeah. See, guys, that's my material, right? See. Okay, so guys, now I apply color ramp. So use color ramp. Select and connect with base color. Yes, and guys, go to on color ramp. Select and press Control T. Yeah, and guys, delete your texture image. And I take mapping and second one texture coordinate. Yeah, so generated connect with vector. Yes, and guys, next one, you can create any gradient color. So like, like. Dark blue color. Yes. See, guys, that's my color, right? It will be darker. Yeah. And next one, guys, create new key. So select and go to here, guys. You, I take randomly color like red. And next one, like I take blue, like zero point six. Yeah. And next one. Go to on here, and you can take like purple, like zero point seven five. See guys, that's my beautiful gradient effect, right? And this one, again, you can take anyone, like dark blue. Yeah, great. So guys, color change little bit, color position. Yeah, 
See guys, that's my randomly color. It's looking really cool, right? Okay, so guys, go to on here. Principal BSDF and metallic. I like zero point eight. Guys, I create metal effect and roughness. I like zero point zero two two. Yeah. See guys, that's really good, right? Okay, so guys, my wireframe texture material is finished now. I go to layout and guys, I create background and lighting. So take new and scale size increase like this. Yeah, and edit mode. So take circle. The actually this one, vertex. That's my edge. Select and select this one. And guys, press G. Press E and G, yeah, and go to our up. That's my background. Great. And guys, now select this one, mid one, and apply bevel effect. And guys, amount like zero point two, and increase segments. Fifty is good. Go to on here object mode, yeah. Little bit closer, yeah. Okay, see guys, that's my background. And now, guys, go to on here and create new material and base color. I like black. So, guys, go to on roughness. I like zero point eight. Yes. And here. And wireframe uncheck. Yes. See, guys, that's my beautiful color, right? And background. So, guys, next one, I apply light. So increase the size, background size, yeah. And guys, go to on here, add and take area light. Actually, ha, yeah, area light is good. So top view. And guys, go to size. Size I like three. Guys, power I like five hundred. Yeah. And next one, this time I use point light. And guys, point light. Go to on little bit up. Guys, radius I like increase like. Three is good. Actually, two point five. Decrease like two is good for me. Yes. And closer. Guys, color like blue. I like blue color. And one. Yeah. Power. I like five hundred. Yes. And guys, now duplicate this light. Press Control C and V. Go to on here. So this time, guys, color. I like red. Yeah. Right, see guys, that's really good. Okay, so guys, now I take camera and camera check. Guys, set your camera angle like ninety, zero, and zero. Guys, set your camera position like minus eight, and this one like one. Guys, little bit increase one point five. Yes. And guys, press one. So guys, select your background. This one, plain, and little bit down like this. Yes. Okay. So guys, press zero for camera, and little bit position change. Camera like minus nine. Good. Okay. So guys, see that's my beautiful text and my camera position. And go to on render setting. Guys, I use cycle render and device GPU check. Guys, go to on here. We put like sixty four on the and render max amp. I like two five six. Yes, and denoise check. So guys, that's it. And most important part, save your project. Yes, and guys, last one. I also apply as gear image. So go to on here. World properties and color and use environment texture check. Yes, guys, I have. Environment texture. That's my HDR image. So apply anyone like this and open. Yeah, and go to a render and render an image check. Yeah. See guys, that's my beautiful material and lighting. That's my beautiful lighting, right? Okay. So guys, that's it. My final render is finished. So if you like my video, please share and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.